Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Well, welcome to a toast to the men, people. Good day. Good day. Today, I want to talk about a very important topic, and that is purpose over everything. Now, you may say, what is purpose? And I don't see that question asked often. And I don't believe it's not asked because people know. I believe it's not asked because people don't want you to know they don't know. Right? They don't want to look ignorant. All right? So, purpose. What is purpose? Purpose is what you're pursuing every day to allow your light to shine. Each one of us has a light inside of us, a God-given light inside of us, the truth, I, uh, the higher self, right? The God like in us. Each one of us has that light. Now, how do we allow that light to shine? We allow that light to shine by practicing and pursuing our God-given talents and gifts. That's how we allow the light to shine. And that's, how, that's the light others are going to see in us, right? So anytime you see light, you know, we go towards light, right? Anytime you're in the dark or you're lost, we're looking for light. We got to show that light inside each, each and one of us to show people the way, the truth, right? So each one of us has that light. So the light is only to show you the way of teaching others or showing others how to pursue their God-given gifts and talents. And open up that light within themselves. So others can see the light in them. Alright. And then it goes on and on and on. Everybody is giving back. First working on themselves. To show their light. And then witnessing to others. Right. And those people. Right. Becoming witnesses. Hearers and bearers. Of the light. And then they're showing their light to others. That's what it's all about. That's what this life is all about, man. It's a, it's a, it's a school. Earth is a school. It's a big school for learning and teaching. That's it. You know, we're we're all students and teachers, right? And the goal is to reach master teacher level. That's the goal. But we're all students and teachers in this this world, this school we call Earth. Now, what is everything? Everything is anything that makes you miss your target or distracts you from missing your target. That target is pursuing your purpose. So every anything that's going to distract you from doing that, it has to go. It has to go. And I'm going to tell you, when you're not walking in your purpose or pursuing your purpose... It'll eventually catch up to you. You'll feel empty. You know, you'll feel guilty. You'll feel empty. You'll be frustrated. And I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Man. And the number one distraction is, and don't take this wrong, ladies, <laughs> but it is. The number one distraction is ladies, women. And that's not such a bad thing, right? Because it keeps us balanced. It keeps us on our toes. keeps us focus if we deal with this properly right so you you wouldn't know how disciplined you are if you've never been challenged right you have to have resistance you don't know how strong you are until you get resistance so that woman that you love is going to be that thing that challenges you and sometimes I don't even think they know what they're doing that they're purposely 
I don't I don't believe they're purposely trying to get you off path. But women want what they want. And the number one thing they want is attention. And so, hey man, I've been guilty. I've been guilty of not pursuing my purpose in the past, you know, <clears throat> in the past. This isn't my first marriage. But, you know, I had to grow to this point. I had to I had to mature to this point. But when in my younger days, my early 20s when I was married, oh man, I uh I was distracted often uh by my wife, trying to please my wife, trying to make her happy and not pursuing my purpose. And when you do that, nobody's going to be happy. I guarantee nobody's going to be happy. And you're going to and what happens is when you get off target and you're not pursuing your purpose and you do something you know you don't have no business doing like spending money you know you shouldn't spend or you should spend over here or given time you know you shouldn't give you should be giving that time over here right or that energy over here towards your purpose when you do that and you don't think it's reciprocated what generally happens is you complain to that woman right and she says I didn't make you do that I didn't force you to do that. I didn't put a gun to your head. Man. And you know what? She's right. She's right. Now, there are subtle, subtle ways, you know, she can guilt trip you and, and uh, get you off path. But she's just, she she's a woman. She wants what she wants, man. She uh, Even my wife today. Hey, we've been married nine years. <clears throat> And at least on three occasions, I have to tell her, hey, don't compete with my, my purpose. You won't win. You know, and I'm not complaining about that. It, that's natural. That's a natural thing. She's a woman still. Right? And three times out of nine years, man, I don't think that's so bad. <laughs> so, you know, but that's a natural thing. But it keeps me focused. It keeps me sharp. And in pursuit of my purpose. Now the key is when when we're on cloud nine and just in harmony, it's when I'm in pursuit of something, a gift, a talent, I'm writing a book, or I'm speaking. Uh I got a few other business ventures uh going on that she's not really a part of. That's not really, really, this other venture is really not my God-given talent. But when I'm pursuing my God-given talents, speaking and writing, and I find her value, how she can be a value within that purpose, wow, man, you're talking about synergy. Man, you're talking about chemistry. Man, that's when it's at its highest point. When I'm pursuing my purpose and I find value in her where she can fit into that purpose and shine her light. Nothing nothing better. So stay focused. Don't get distracted. Purpose over everything. I see guys get so frustrated when things aren't going their way in their marriage and they felt like they sacrificed a lot they gave a lot and uh, they end up frustrated and I just got one question for those guys and I already know the answer but the question is have you been pursuing your purpose pursue your purpose everything else comes second everything your purpose comes between, before yourself your flesh your purpose comes before your spouse, before your children, before anything worldly, pursue your purpose. And I promise you, everything you want or need will come to you. It'll be drawn to you. But as soon as you get off course and miss your target, you know, that's where the sin lies. Sin is just missing your target. All right, that's all it is. That's all sin is missing your target. Missing your targets, not staying focused, not being disciplined, 
and not pursuing your purpose. Pursue your purpose, man. Everything will line up. I know this for a fact. I know I know for a fact everything will line up for you. So purpose over everything, man. I know you love that woman, but hey, man, <laughs> you can't love her that much where you're willing to neglect your purpose. Ain't no woman that good. So, hey, don't be frustrated. You got no one to blame. Can't blame her. Blame yourself. Pursue your purpose. Purpose over everything. Peace.